Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic 3 Knuckles, I'm the Sheep Sheep Dane and today we're continuing onwards with a Marble Garden Zone Act 2 in the Knuckles Run. Now Marble Garden Zone Act 2, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like Marble Garden Zone at all. Actually, out of the zones in Sonic 3 standard I do like, I probably mentioned this during the original LP but just, come on, it's been pretty much a year since I recorded that. Um. Out of the zones in this game that I like, there's not many. I mean, there's, there's Angel Island zone I like. I don't mind Hydro City. But then it comes to zones like, oh god, oh god, oh god. <clears throat> Bloody video games. Hidden ring in that wall, by the way, if you want to get it. I'm not going to bother. But as I was saying, there's uh, Marble Garden I hate. Hydro City I like. Ice Cap I like because it's freaking Ice Cap Zone. You can't. I, I'm not a single person that doesn't like Ice Cap Zone. Um, launch Base I despise, and as far as I'm aware, Carnival Carnival Night Zone can go and die in a fire. I despise that zone. Anyway, as you can tell, it. <sighs> Fine, I'll go this way. I hate. I always had trouble with that certain pla that certain section. I always have, always will, and it's really, really awkward to go th go and do because obviously you need to try and take the hover hover saucer thingy by running. But if you move to the left or right, well, if you move to the opposite direction, you'll just simply s lower your. Uh oh, this game is out to kill me. I swear. You'll basically drop lower in your altitude, so you really don't want to go left or right while you're on the sources. I don't really want to do any of this, but I have to because I started as LP and I forgot how miserable these zones were. Once I get to the second half of the game, I'm, I'm you're going to see me be happy as rain. I'm going to be all like, yeah, this is the best game ever on the second zone, second half, because I, I legitimately love the second half of this game. I think it's brilliant. If it went for the first half, I would probably consider this... No, actually no, no, it's still not as good as Sonic 2. Sonic 2 is still my all-time favourite. I love Sonic 2. <laughs> anyway, if anyone's wondering if I'm going to be tackling any of the 3D Sonic games soon, I will get back, I'll get back into them pretty soon. Because I do plan on uh, tackling the whole series. I mean, I, pl I plan on going through every Sonic game. I think I've already said this before, but... The main issue I have right now is honestly just what I think of my old my older LPs of the Sonic games. I don't think they were really up to par with what I want them to be. So who knows? I'll probably try and figure out a way to redo them in the future. Probably like a year or two, I'll probably redo the LPs. It's like a Sheep and Dane remastered series or something. Anyway, but yeah, uh, just watch out for those bubbles. That bubble, Badnik, you. That's the name, by the way. Those bad things are called Bubbles. You might remember them from Sonic 4. Oh god, I activated this again. But um, in Sonic 4, Episode 1 and Episode 2, they're basically, you I'm gonna hit you to get to a certain point. Bad things. So you really just have to ignore... You can just... You can pretty much ignore them. They're, they're no threat. In this game, they're obnoxious. They will fly towards you. They'll fly in your path as you... As you're running, and nine times out of ten, they will knock you off your goddamn sources. Now you see these sources here. They nearly every single time you'll see these, you'll get hit off by one of those bubbles. They are s bloody annoying. But I digress. Anyway, we're just gonna run up here. This section by is pretty much automated. So just don't hold any buttons down. Just let, just let nature flow its course until you get to that wall there. In which case, nothing happens. Fantastic. But as you can probably tell, what? I can't, I can't reach us. Why, what? Well, there's a reason why you can't reach us, folks. You're meant to go back here, and this is one where one of those Knuckles branching paths I told you about, where the game is pretty much Knuckles exclusive for the most part. Now you need to climb up here, glide across here, and basically platform your way across. Be careful when gliding across this wall, because that spike ball there will probably clip you when you least expect it. Anyway, meet the Egg Robo boss of this level. He's also in Sonic's version of the story, except he's not Egg Robo in Sonic's version of the story, so you shouldn't really have to worry. Anyway, spin that and then move back here to show this face. Now, what I haven't explained yet is these faces, you need to shoot the eye out. Yeah, you need to actually shoot the eye off the faces. It's very painful. But you need to do that to basically, well, 
make them manageable. They will open up pathways then once the eye is missing. So be sure to do that first and before you head this way. Now, as you can probably hear, is the shaking, and you can probably hear and see the shaking. Well, that basically means the ground is going to be moving in certain points of the level, like by here, for example. And well, in a second, you know, actually, this the ground's moving now. Now you need to be very, 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 very quick by here because it's. Oh, you wouldn't believe how easy it is to die, especially right by here. Because what you're going to want to do here is um, knock this thing's eye out before you get crushed. It's I've been killed there more than enough times to say, don't. Just be careful. But once you get past that, you should be pretty much safe to go. Pretty good go. But now it's time to get on to the boss. Now this is an original boss only for Knuckles' story. And if you're wondering, well, if you can tell... Egg Robo basically makes a chain. This chain is very annoying to dodge and I'm gonna die now. I'm telling you I'm gonna die because that's gonna happen. He's very unpredictable and I can never dodge him. So make sure you have at least a ring going into this fight. You don't want to lose your rings. Because he has a very unpredictable pattern. He seems to just go wherever the hell he wants. But it's probably wise to try and keep yourself around the middle of the arena so you can get a clear shot on him at all times. Now again, as always, 8 hits will take him down, but he's still such an annoying boss, it's, you know, it's more frustrating than anything. Come on, show your head, show your head, boom! Okay, but once you got a pattern down, you really, I don't think you're really going to have to worry too much, like, for some reason right now he's just repeating the same thing over and over again pretty much. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, because this boss is very annoying. We've died here more than enough times to really be all like, no. One of the key, one of the key bits of advice I can give you is basically move towards the spike chains, but not into them. The spike chains will hurt you, but if you move towards them, generally you're safe from being hit. Generally, sometimes it'll be a pain and will hit you regardless. But anyway, with that, we have cleared Marble Garden Zone Act 2. Thank you very much. And we're going to move on to the Carnival Night. Oh, God, I hate Carnival Night Zone. Uh, my least favorite stage in this game. So, pause the game quickly. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, it, appreciate a like or comment to the video. And I'll catch you all next time when we clear up this zone. So, I'll see you then. Bye!